Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle, Washington. My primary instruments are percussion, bass, and a little bit of guitar. All right, I'm ready to do something different on the channel. This reaction video is actually going to feature the music of Attack on Titan, which is pretty cool. Now, in reality, I've only seen like snippets of it, maybe a half hour total. I can't tell you much about the characters, the storyline, but I do remember thinking the music was pretty cool. So this video was sent to me in Discord as a recommendation, so we're going to do that. I'll read to you a little bit of the uh, video description. This is the soundtrack Revival Project by Hiroyuki Sawano. In this time, he has arranged a suite of music for the soundtrack of the TV animation Attack on Titan, which is the work he composed. Watch the video recorded and filmed in the studio with the vocalists and musicians. Yeah, yes, please. All right, here we go. Very, very powerful beginning. I felt like there was like some cool distortion on that cello with uh, those big hits. Uh, love how strong the voice is. And then we can see all these little symphonic parts happening with uh, everyone playing here. This is great. Going back five seconds. That was a cool, I need to hear that cello line again. Really cool, like little subtle guitar playing underneath and then that or a big tremolo up there. That was nice. I'm going back 10 seconds. This is amazing. I love all the little, there's so many little dissonances happening behind uh, the focal points, but I'm getting a great mix in the headset. And then we come out of our bum, 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 this grouping into the halftime groove. This is. The French horn and the voice there were so nice. Let's go. That was a cool melody. That was an awesome segment. Like you're hearing a little bit of slap in like, you know, not like super intense articulations on the electric bass. And then the cool runs going on in the piano with like Tom stuff going on the drums. This is why uh, I know the composer has written a lot of video game music too, but I feel like, you know, episodic TV and video game is kind of similar in ways. And you can have such just, there's so much emotion and there's a lot of, a lot of brain work going into this. This is really great. We're only two minutes in. I keep saying, I know I stop a lot. It's just, there's too much cool stuff to talk about.
great bass playing right there. A little funk groove going on. If you took, it's funny how like you have like two uh, kind of styles of music represented right there, but how they like blend together just perfectly. was a cool drop you know the rhythm foundation there you know moving eighth notes against this and then big big gliding voice very very powerful that's just need to watch more of the show Yeah, that was cool. So we just came out. What I just said, I said gliding and kind of, you know, like there was that pulse. Now we changed to having that four note. Bum, bum, dum, dum, bum, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That became the focal point. And now I'm very curious to see how we uh, develop on top of that. That's some vocals right there. Wow. That's very powerful and big. I think what well, we have like eight or nine people in the room, you know, so we've got, you know, some single player string representation here. And then obviously we have a lot of patches on the keyboard and who knows, I have no clue what kind of uh, other stuff is brought in via tracks or not, because obviously I'm so new to this, but what a big full sound we're getting. And the most important thing to me, especially when I'm in settings like this and you know, I mean, like live setting. I mean, obviously, I've never gotten to play on a soundtrack as cool as this. But the point being, live music is the best. When you're in the room, everyone's reading the charts. Your vi the vibe is there. Like, you're able to create something uh, real time. It's just very, very good feeling. That's a cool transition or uh, I guess feel change. You know, you, you can either count it in two groups of three or, or feel it in six, eight. I would just feel it in six, eight, but this is really nice coming out of what we just had. Uh, and I'm very excited to see where this goes.
lot uh, so much amazing stuff going on right there all many different musicians doing low dynamic cool little like uh sounds you know a lot of sounds that we're not used to hearing on the instrument added together really creates a different kind of layer uh my favorite part though the underneath layer hi-hat ba, 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 ba. uh really cool just like and the if you, you want to think of dynamic layers like you could think of it like like six five four three two one you know that was down there like on two you know like on the second floor just not being that dominant but the groove was so uh nice um <laughs> be cool to see how this looks on the page you know like to see uh not just individual parts but the score because it'd be a uh, just fun to see how the ink lays Well, that was okay that that piece within the suite was really nice um very any six eight heavy you know rock feeling there's so much you could do with it and i feel like they did do a lot with that so that was a pretty unique experience for me to listen to so i enjoyed that quite a bit let's see what's next I'm sorry, the that uh that glissando down to the cello, the way that lined up into the next moving line, that was really tasty. Nice baseline. All right, so, man, okay, on this channel, we've done a lot of, you know, a lot of songs where it's constant, like, like just, you know, assault on the instruments and fast, fast, fast moving lines. Um, and that is impressive and difficult because the technicality and the precision, you know, you have to be very developed in the instrument. From a scoring standpoint, a composition standpoint, an arrangement standpoint, what we're hearing here, you might, you might like look at that, or sorry, not look at it. You might listen to it and be like, oh yeah, yeah, there's like, there's some loud and there's some quiet, there's dynamic changes, but there's so many, trust me when I say to be able to write that and hear those ideas in your head and get it on the page and, and arrange it so it works with a group of people, to me, that's cooler. So this, I'm really, really, really enjoying this. Uh, this video would turn out to be way too long. We could we could sit and talk about what we just heard in that middle spot right there, but uh just just know that I really this so far that was my favorite. <laughs>
uh, so now we're kicking in. We're gonna go somewhere. This this theme, this rhythmic rhythmic grouping, bada da ga 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 da ga do da ga. We've heard a lot of uh, little variations on what they did with it and little intricacies of uh, just kind of adding and taking away and adding back. But now we're about, we got that low end uh, quarter note pulse coming in. So I'm very curious to see where this goes. What a cool transition. Now we're on to the next feel. Um, and if you think about like a suite of music in a classical music sense, there, you know, generally there's some rules with like what types of dances need to be there and stuff. But I think we're we're referencing a suite here just as in it's a, many bodies of music that are all relative to our same project here, which is cool. Um, what I like about this one so far is the voice being mixed so closely to the violin uh, dynamic level that we're getting such a similar timbre there. So that was really, uh, I really appreciated that. That was cool. Going back five. This is nice because this one we're getting this very slow 4-4 four, four and nice chord, like half note chords that are introduced and they swell and you can completely see the difference in feel. Uh, also, I wasn't, it like caught me by surprise because I wasn't paying attention. You know, real time, we're adjusting the uh, visual, the lights are going on. So we're creating different moods and scenes. So like th there's just a lot of people involved in this project as you're witnessing it. And it's just, it's awesome. That was very interesting the way we came out of that because we started to build with her little palm muting and a little more movement staccato rhythms happening. And then it like ended and there was this cool little, I don't, not really sure what trailed off. I'm going to see if we can catch it again. And then we kind of have this weird electronic percussive thing happening. <laughs> the little pitch drop there. That was cool. Okay, that was really cool. See, what you know, I was saying earlier about all those like little non-normal, like <laughs> the first mix of this, I, I made a comment about her coming in with the uh, kind of almost similar to the timbre of the violin. And then the second entrance, we have like almost like techno-y kind of buzzy keyboard sound. And then you get that sound from the guitar. Like who thinks of all that? That is amazing.
All right, so this is the first time so far in this entire suite that we're getting boom, bah, digga digga, and the low end from the drums. Uh, what, just what a rocker, man. This is great. I'm sorry. The melodic con the melodic content of this one is just blowing my mind. You can hear all the way the uh, brass and strings are scored along with the vocal melody is just unreal. Such great layering there. We add our little groove, the, the synth groove. We add very, very delicate piano. Cello comes in, epic. And then the drums come in and we get this little funk thing happening. It's just, yeah, that's nice. A nice taste, nice touch, very tasty writing there. All I, I wanted to just be quiet there for that huge uh, chunk there. It's just we've I think I've said it like twice, but I'll say it. I'll say it thrice. The the compositional aspect, music. Okay, <laughs> music doesn't have to be in your face with eight thousand notes going all the time to be so epically powerful and just um in reach within everyone's ears. Like this is this is this very good, great guitar solo.
Well done. We're going to hear that transition again. And I need to see the lights change again. That was awesome. The choral, uh, well, the, the duet there, but the 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 vocal layer in there was very very powerful. Cool baseline. The little major thirds uh, ringing out there that worked really well in that context. That was cool. Such strong use of one and a two, three, four, one and a two, and then one and two, and that really great uh, triplet eighth notes, just standard eighth notes, uh, awesome block. I kind of call that like block writing, block rhythms, block melodies. That was really cool. There's 15. Okay, we got our credits here. Wow. Um, that was a dangerous one because I felt like I could have stopped and stopped and stopped. We make that we would make this video way too long. Um, I think I need I think I said what I needed to say. I really appreciated all the differences between with the entire suite of each different track there. Um, like I said, I'm super ignorant to the show. I've literally not seen more than a half hour. Um, this makes me want to see more though, for sure, because Anytime someone that smart and talented at composition and scoring and arranging, you hear that, that, that will probably pull me into the show more than the actual like story of the show. I, and I'm not like dissing on the story. I'm just saying for me though, that's where the charisma is. That's where the attraction is, uh, would likely start. So, uh, that was really exciting. Uh, thank you so much for the recommendation, in the discord. I appreciate that. I hope you liked it. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live so you can tell me about Attack on Titan and other shows that you're watching right now. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below as well as the Discord channel too. And uh, like I always say, all we're missing is you. So come on out. The invitation's there. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next upload. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next.